This is Nuts and Bolts Speed Training with your keyboard shortcuts for navigating panes and open windows in PowerPoint. And I want to specifically look at when this is actually useful as this can otherwise be a semi-confusing and worthless PowerPoint shortcut. And here in PowerPoint, to walk clockwise through all of your active or open panes, you use F6. So starting in the workspace area, if I hit F6, I jump to the taskbar there at the bottom and I can navigate this from my keyboard with the arrow keys. F6 again, I jump up to the ribbon. F6 again, I'm now in the notes view, so I can type notes down at the bottom. F6 again, I'm in the thumbnail view there on the left, and F6 one more time brings me back to the workspace. So F6 will walk you clockwise through all of your active windows. You can also go counterclockwise with Shift F6. So Shift F6 once, thumbnails, Shift F6 again, I'm in the notes, Shift F6, I'm in the ribbon. Again, I'm down on the taskbar, and one more time, it brings me back to the workspace. And although you can navigate the active windows using the arrow keys on your keyboard, the question is, when is this actually useful? And this is useful when you're working with other windows here in PowerPoint, in particular, the selection pane and the outline view. So for example, if on your keyboard, you hit Alt F10 to open up the selection pane, and you want to navigate this using your keyboard, if you simply hit F6 once, you'll jump over into the selection pane so you can navigate it with the arrow keys on your keyboard. Or if you want to see all the other selection pane shortcuts, check out our other shortcut video. I'll hit Escape to leave the selection pane and hit Alt F10 to close it out. Alternatively, if you hit Control Shift Tab on your keyboard to open up the outline view, and again, you want to navigate this from your keyboard, if you rotate counterclockwise, so Shift F6 once, will jump you over into the outline view. And again, you can navigate this with the arrow keys on your keyboard, or you can see our other shortcut video to see all the other shortcuts here for the outline view. To close the outline view, I'll hit Control Shift Tab, and I return back to the normal view. So those are your keyboard shortcuts for rotating the active windows in PowerPoint and two examples, the selection pane and the outline view that are useful when using these shortcuts. Again, you have F6, which will rotate you clockwise to your active windows in your presentation, and you have Shift F6, which will rotate you counterclockwise to the active windows within your presentation. To grab a PDF of all of these awesome shortcuts, plus over 100 more, look for the link beneath this video.